So in this month, Sha'ban, there is a blessed night by the name Laylatul Nisf Min Sha'ban, the 15th night of Sha'ban. We call this night Laylatul Bara'a, Shabe Bara'at also. So this night has been special all the way from the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this night it is called Shab Bara'at. Shab means night in Persian and Bara'at means salvation. So what happens is the scholars say that according to the deeds that we do or the sins that we commit, there's a list of dwellers of Jannah and there's a list of the dwellers of Jahannam. So if one, he lives a life of disobedience, he lives a life of sin, he commits sins, he disobeys Allah, his name is listed in the dwellers of Jahannam. But when these kind of nights come, a person, he turns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his name is deleted from the list of the dwellers of Jahannam and it is recorded in the list of the dwellers of Jannah. So for your name to be deleted from the list of the dwellers of Jahannam and recorded in the list of the dwellers of Jannah, the scholars say this means that you have been saved from the fire of Jahannam. You have attained this salvation and bara'at. So this is why this night is called Shab-e Bara'at. And with regards to this night, there's a narration narrated by Sayyiduna Ali radiallahu anhu. Sayyiduna Ali radiallahu anhu, he says, Qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Iza kanat laylatun nisf min sha'ban, faqumu laylaha wa sumu naharaha. Now when this 15th night of sha'ban comes, you should worship Allah during the night, the 15th night, and then the day, the 15th of Sha'ban, during the day you should fast. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يَنزِلُ فِيهَا لِغُرُوبِ الشَّمْسِ إِلَى سَمَاءِ الدُّنْيَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He casts His special mercy on those that are engaged in His worship in the dunya. And there's a call that is called out, and this call this is extended all the way till Fajr. And what is this call? فَيَقُولْ أَلَا مِنْ مُسْتَغْفِرٍ لِي فَأَغْفِرَ لَهُ Is there anyone seeking forgiveness so that I may forgive him? أَلَا مُسْتَرْزِقٌ فَأَرْزُقَهُ Is there anyone seeking sustenance so I may give him sustenance? أَلَا مُبْتَلًا فَأُعَافِيَهُ Is there anyone that is distressed, that is in pain so that I may alleviate that pain from him? Alakada, alakada. Is there anyone like this? Is there anyone like this? Hatta yatlu al fajr, all the way till fajr. So on this night, this is a very special night. There's a narration narrated by Abu Musa Ash'ari radiyallahu anhu. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna Allah la yatli'u fi laylatin nisf min sha'ban. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all nights he's aware. But on this night, out of his mercy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala فَيَغْفِرُ لِجَمِيعِ خَلْقِهِ He forgives his creation, but there are two types of people. إِلَّا لِمُشْرِكْ أَوْ مُشَاحِن A mushrik isn't forgiven and a mushahin. Who is a mushahin? Someone who causes divisions. Someone who spreads gossip. Instead of bringing people together, he turns them apart. So someone who has this grudge, enmity in his heart, he is not forgiven. And then according to the narration of Abdullah bin Amr, وَقَاتِلِ nafs, A killer isn't forgiven. الْعَاقُ لِوَالِدَيْهِ Someone who is disobedient to his parents isn't forgiven. And مُدْمِنُ الْخَمْرِ Someone who takes alcohol. And كُلُّ مُسْكِرٍ haram. Every intoxication is haram. So those that take drugs, they are in this as well. So there's a lesson for us here. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Islam is teaching us that the creation of Allah is forgiven. However, if you have this enmity in your heart, if you have grudge, if you are spreading gossip, if you have hatred in your heart for other believers, for other people, then you are not forgiven. So the message of this night of 15 Shaban is that a believer, he should have good akhlaq. He should have good manners. He should be lenient. 
Sayyida Aisha radiyallahu anha, she mentioned that this narration is in Tirmidhi. She says, فَقَدْتُ النَّبِيَّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ ذَاتَ لَيْلَ One night, I didn't find the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with me. He wasn't there. So she says, فَخَرَجْتُ أَطْلُوبُهُ I went out to look for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَإِذَا هُوَ بِالْبَقِي رَافِ الرَّأْسَةِ إِلَى السَّمَاءِ He was in Jannatul Baqi and he was looking towards the heavens. And he then said, Ya Aisha, إِنَّ اللَّهَ تَعَالَى يَنْزِلُ لَيْلَةَ النِّصْفِ مِنْ شَعْبَانِ إِلَى السَّمَاءِ الدُّنْيَا فَيَغْفِرُ لِأَكْثَرَ مِنْ عَدَدِ شَعْرِ غَنَمِ كَلْبِ He said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this night, He forgives more people than the hair on the goats that belong to the tribe of Kalb. So we just understand that on this night, how many, how many people are forgiven. So this night is very, very important and it holds utmost importance in Islam. And now it's up to us whether we make the most of this night or whether we waste this night. Many visit the cemetery on this night. However, like I know with regards to Bristol, if I'm correct, many cemeteries are sadly closed. So this will be very difficult for us. Imam Shafi'i, rahimahullah, he's mentioned that it's, you know, reached us. So he got this from the Tabi'een. He was around about a hundred years after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he says that this has reached us that there's five nights. خَمْسُ لَيَالٍ لَا تُرَدُّ فِيهِنَّ الدَّعْوَةِ Du'as are accepted in these nights. One is the night of Eid al-Fitr, the night of Eid al-Adha, then the first night of Rajab, and then this 15th night of Shaban and the night of Friday. So this is a night we should engage in du'a especially.